11th day of anti-government protests in Colombia. It started out as demonstrations against the tax bill that President Ivan Duque sent to Congress. And even after Duque withdrew the bill, protests continued, as the one you can see in my background here in Bogota. Protesters air a range of grievances, including police brutality, corruption, and a proposed health care reform. Estamos protestando por la reforma a la salud por la reforma tributaria que supuestamente dice que ya la quitaron, pero no es así. Por los derechos que nosotros nos están aplazando y aparte de eso, por el abuso policial que se ha venido protestando desde hace 10 días acá. Demonstrations have been mostly peaceful. However, there have been clashes between protesters and security forces with at least 26 people reported dead. Hundreds of police officers have also been injured. There are road blockages and highways across the country, making it hard to get farm goods to market. Several cities, including the capital, Bogota, are reporting food shortages. President Duque has called for dialogue with protesters, though it's not as simple, with no one clear leader or leaders that represents those going out to march. And all this is playing out as the country suffers a third wave of the pandemic. Colombia has reported more than 76,000 deaths from COVID, the third most in Latin America after Brazil and Mexico. Thank you.